So today we will see how we can move uh, or copy the task from one plan to another plan. Similarly, we will see how we will move completely a task from one plan to a different plan. So first we will see the copy method. So this is my plan. So budget 2020, 21. I have one task called my task and it's been assigned to me and you can have a bucket and it shows what is the progress. It's an in progress. It says the priority is urgent. It have a start date of 1st June and a due date of 31st July. And I have a checklist, just one, two, three. First, I have completed and the second two sub uh, task is been still open. And I have put some, um, some comments in that. So I want to copy this task from this plan, which is budget 2020, 2021 to another plan, which is 21, 22. So it doesn't have any tasks. Okay. So, you know, copy that this task from this plan to another plan. So first you open, open the task. Then you go to this three dotted icon, click more, and you can see an option called copy task. Okay. Click that. So here it will say, what are you actually copying and what you need to copy? Okay, so um, when you're copying, do you want to say, do you still want to hold the same task name? I will say no, I will just put it to my task 20, 21, 22, because I'm moving it from one plan to another plan. So the plan name currently shows what plan you are right now. So you need to choose a different plan. So it's 2021. I'm going to pick budget 21, 22, which is the, a new plan I'm copying into. So choose that and you choose the bucket. I'm going to just leave the bucket. I have only one bucket in that. So come down. So it by default, it will include all the attachments in my plan, in my task, and it includes the checklist and the description. But you can choose to leave something behind. You don't want to uh, copy the checklist, but I want to copy. And this dates will tell what is the start date and the end date because the task which you're copying into might have a different start date and end date. So you can choose to ignore it. But for this demo purpose, I just want to include that. And this progress will be like sometimes you're copying a completed task and you want to copy into a new plan with not started status. Of course, I'm going to leave that as it is because it's already in, in progress, the plan uh, task I'm copying in. So when I copy it into, it should be not started. Okay. Um, let the assignment be as uh, I want to copy it across. So I just leave my name uh, to be into the new task as well. Okay, so that's that. And if you click copy, okay, the task has been copied. So we close this and we go back to, into the new plan. Voila, I can see the task has been copied into. So click that. And you can see the task has been copied properly. So it gives me the task with the new name and it properly assigned. It has the same start and end date, 1st June to 31st July. But the progress you can see it's not in progress as it was before. But now it's just as not started, which is fine. The priority is still urgent. It holds the notes, the description perfectly fine and the checklist. If you don't want to just uncheck it and start as a fresh. But you might notice down the line, all the comments is not copied. So this comments cannot be copied across. This, that will be specific to that particular plan and we cannot be copy, copied across. So that is uh, still be a, a restricted parameter. So that's why you cannot copy the comments from it. Um, so that's that. Okay, so let's delete this one just for uh, demonstration purpose. Let's go back here. Let's see the move method. So click here, let's see if I'm copying it perfectly. Okay, the correct plan. So OP, so open the plan. Okay, so open the task. So this is my task. Okay, I'm going to now move the task. So the move the task will ensure everything is just literally moved from one place to another. Like how you just cut and paste a file from one folder to another folder. All the properties and the metadata will move across along with the file itself. So that's what it will do now. So you move the task. So this is what the plan is sitting right now. And we're going to move it to budget 21 to 22. Okay. All right. Move. Yeah. And that's it. It moved. Just to make sure the task is gone from this plan. 
So go to budget 21, 22, and you can see it's been moved. So open the task, and you can see everything stays same, progress, priority, name, description, checklist. And also you can see the comments that we made also stay same because we literally moved from one place to another place. So this won't cop this won't come across if you're copying the task, but if you want to move across the comments as well, the move method is the only way to do that. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. So if you like the video, please please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. It will help me grow my channel in future. So thanks for watching. Bye.